everyone welcome back this is Meghnath once again in this module we will learn printf and scanf so we'll learn how to print some values in the console window and we'll see how to read some data from the user so in the previous module we learned about data types like how char can be used to store numbers as well as character value and we learned some examples for int and we learned example for unsigned char and char and we also see an example for float data type, right? So in this module, we will see how to read data from user and how to print it. The first program that we do is, we will write a program to read two numbers from the user and print sum and average. So let's do that. Now, to, now let me open code blocks. And now what I'll do is, I click on file, new, empty file file new empty file and since this lecture 4 I'll be saving this as uh, so let's save this file as um, 4 dot 4 dot a dot add two numbers now now what I'll do now is as usual we'll write include stdio.h because printf is present in this header file include conio.h console input output because get ch is present in this file, although we're not using get ch, I'm just writing it for the for those who are using this tutorial series for any other editor, can include conover.h and void main and now now depending on the requirement, so what's our goal now? So it's always a good practice to add some comments. So these are comments in C language. Now always make a habit of writing comments like this in all the programs that you write from now make sure that you add some comments so the first one is author you can write here your name I'm writing my name and then you can write here the purpose purpose of this program is to add two numbers to read two numbers from user and print sum and average. Now let's write the program. So all you need is you need to read two numbers, so two variables for that, and you want to find sum and average, so two more variables for that. So total you need four variables. Now what we'll do is I'll declare this int fn comma sn and sum. I'll write here float average. Now I'm writing here int fn sn first number second number and sum for storing the sum obviously both are integers sum will be integer float average because average can be can be a non integer I mean it can be a decimal like 2 plus 5 is 7 but the average is 3.5 so now I'm I'm declared as float now what we'll do here we'll read the value from user so read values from user and what we have to write printf enter first number now now this will display on the on the screen enter first number now here is a part that we are learning for the first time scanf so we'll write here scanf scanf is used to read data from the user now for numbers we'll use for integers we'll use percent d comma ampercentile so we used to use ampercent ampercent we will use ampercent and fn so this is how we use scanf for storing the value in first number. Now we'll ask user printf enter second number and we'll write here scanf once again. Scanf percentile d comma. So this time we're reading second number and percent sn. Now what we need is we need to find sum. Sum is equal to fn plus sn. So you can just write here the logic. Logic. So sum is equal to fn plus sn and average. So now, now what's the variable we gave for average? We wrote average. So a average. Average is equal to sum divided by 2.0. I'm writing 2.0 because it's a floating value. So because we declared this as float value. So let's see whether we get the output or not. Now we need to print the answer. So printf sum is equal to percentile d because it's integer comma average is equal to percentile f and in first 
place I want to print sum in percent LF place I want to print average and we are done and get ch is obviously for some editors uh, where output uh, disappears we'll use get ch so we're done with the program so first we are using enter first number scanf percent ld this is a format specified for integer and first number ampersand remember to use ampersand in f scanf ampersand we have to use in scanf right so now if, let's save this and as usual we'll build this and there are no errors and warnings and run the code so you can see here it's asking enter first number and because we have written here enter first number and the cursor is blinking here now we'll enter here scanf percent and percent event so now because of scanf the cursor is blinking there I'll enter 10 now second number 20 so you can see here sum is equal to 30 average is equal to 15.0 now now let's try to enter uh, let's run the code once again and now I'll enter first number as 5 second number as, as um, 8 now I'll enter this and you can see here sum is equal to 13 average equal to 6.5 so this is how we can actually read two numbers from the user and we can find sum and average so I hope uh, this is clear for you how to read two numbers from the user right now now these are called format specifiers now if you want to read a floating value from the user you have to use percent %lf if you want to use a char from the user you have to use percent %lc so we'll see what are the different format specifiers that are available in the next module so in this module we learned how to read data from the user and we have learned how to find sum and average of two numbers now as usual I'll be saving this code and um, I'll be putting this code in in my github so let's open this um, github and uh, click on this upload files and uh, select the files that I want to download so go to um, Magna the my C programs and you can see here um, this let's yeah so it's it just got uploaded and let me click on commit changes now in case if you want this if you want this um, file you can easily get it from the URL so you can see here all you have to do is you need to type this URL let's copy this and paste it here Windows R notepad you just type so if you want to get this code file all you have to do is type this URL in your browser https colon github.com slash magnath slash c and once you type this and paste it you will get you'll get uh, you can download the file okay so I'll just show you how to do that you can see here I just opened a browser new browser and there's typed github slash magnat slash she uh, slash uh, C so you can see here I just type the URL and once you type this URL if you want to download the file that I just e explained in the demo you just need to click on this and you can download that see here I'm just clicking on that and you can see here the code that I just typed it and you can copy that and you can paste it and you can reuse it okay so that's all for now and uh, see you in the next lecture with all the format specifiers. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.